What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here. Guys, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm in my gym here, Fitness 1440 in Nashville. I come here five days a week, but I have a feeling today's gonna be a little bit different for me because I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Uh, and that's by my buddy here. Thank you for joining us, Seamus. How's it going? Yeah, I'm Seamus, everybody. Uh, the current owner of Celtic Warrior Workouts, where our philosophy, or the philosophy of the channel is brave change. So it's not about getting your ass kicked. Well, it kind of is, but it's all about doing it in good fun, and it's all about stepping outside your comfort zone. That's what I did a couple of years ago when I felt I was in a rush. Uh, my training was going stale. I wasn't looking forward to going to the gym. And I adapted this brave change philosophy, whereas all I know is I know nothing. And I started training with different individuals, uh, trainers, coaches. Um, and I started following their way of uh, their workouts, yeah. with their struggles and what they do and how they work out in the gym. And, I actually learned so many different types of techniques. Yeah. I learned so many different exercises, so many different ways of training. And what I do is I take those exercises and those workouts, put them on Celtic Warrior workouts, and share my experiences with everybody who watches them uh, in a way to motivate them, or I know you're watching, to, to train. Because sometimes when you, when you want to start training, it's, if you've never trained before, it's very, uh, it's very intimidating going to a gym, especially after a new year when you're walking in there and those people throwing weights around. and. It's like asking someone to climb Mount Everest on their yeah. first day of, uh, of rock climbing school or climbing school. You know, I, what I, mean? I used to get so. I used to get crap in school all the time for being too skinny. And I what I did was I came in here, I was intimidated, I gained 30 pounds, and I'm pretty confident walking around now. I'm a little intimidated right now, but shouldn't be uh, right. That's but that's that's what your brave change is all about is overcoming those type of things, right? Yeah, for yeah. people who've never worked out before, for for people who who have been working out who are like me and just basically in a rut, just not yeah. enjoying your workouts, um, and that's what it is. And I literally go through journeys with a lot of WWE superstars and a lot of people outside the WWE, unique individuals. Um, and I follow, I follow their, uh, I follow their workouts. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's just rejuvenated my training. I love, I just love going to the gym now. Who Plus, are, who are some of those guys who have challenged you the most or, or taught you the most? So consider we're on comicbook.com. Comic um, it's funny when you, people talk about WWE, they talk about like how a lot of the guys are, the roster, are WWE superstars are real life superheroes. And that fact is kind of true to a certain extent. You know, obviously we can't climb walls or, or fly through the air. Actually, some of the guys can, you know what I mean? Like Rey Mysterio <laughs> defies gravity. Right. Um, you know, John Cena's strength. Uh, you know, you've got large on life individuals, like former like superstars, like, like Mark Henry, Brock Lesnar, all these guys, you know? Um, just, just so many different types of WWE superstars who have, possess so many different talents. And again, like we defy the laws of gravity, the laws, the laws of strength. Um, so we're always compared to WWE superstars. But there's a lot of other people outside of WWE like who to me are, are real life superheroes. Brandon Rumbaugh is a, um, a Marine veteran who lost uh, both his legs in Afghanistan, yet he still never misses leg day. It's unbelievable. Um, this, uh, Al Raleigh, who's a 94-year-old World War II veteran, who's still in the gym every day, killing it, hitting curls, hit bench, shoulders. It's just wow. an unbelievable story. And like, because of Celtic Warrior workouts, I get to meet these amazing, unique individuals. Yeah. And it, it's just, it's, it's awesome. And to get to share that with everybody else and motivate them, like, there really gives people no excuse not to work out and change their lives. Brave change, all about change your life. Step outside your comfort zone. Start working out, whether it's at home, whether it's even like doing squats on a chair, yeah. whether it's doing push-ups in your house, where it's going for a 30-minute walk. Right. Just getting outside and starting that process is what it's all about. Just getting a little bit of activity in between each game of Fortnite, that was something I do. Do yeah, 10 push-ups between games, even that counts, <laughs> you know? Anything at all, right. any, any, sort of, uh, any sort of physical activity. Right. It's whatever, whatever you're comfortable doing yeah. or whatever, you know, whatever makes you break a sweat or, or get active and start that, that yeah. first step towards a better life, a more healthier, active life. So I have a couple questions before we start. Maybe sure. I'm just stalling, but I do have a couple questions. Um, with with like, things like Royal Rumble coming up, do you do anything different to train? Do you do any, like, is there any sort of, is it more weight, is it more endurance, things like that, depending on matches? And, and also, like, when you're contending for different titles, like when you're in a WWE World Champion uh, run or in a tag team run, is there a different type of uh, workout for you that you have to do to be prepared for those different types of matches? Well, for me, it's, for WWE, we don't have an off season. We're literally right. going all the time. We're on the road minimum four days a week. That's three non-TV shows on one televised show. 
Uh, and then there's pay-per-views. The Rumble, as, as you said, will be will be there in Phoenix. So it's uh, it's it's that's why you know not only do you stuff to see in the ring, but our travel schedule and our our no day off policy or our, our situation in WWE, it, it just goes to show how much um, how much endurance we need to have. And you know, it's I can't really explain. Like I can't explain from a fo from American footballers' perspective or a, a soccer slash football perspective or a baseball perspective. All I know is what we do is we don't take days off, so we need to be in physical condition all the time, 365 days a year. So if you're asking about like for me, if, if I change my workouts, not really, no. Okay. I always try and keep them intense. Sometimes you have to be smart if you're feeling tired or, or you haven't slept from a flight or you're, you, you're uh, in long car rides or you're, you're sore or beat up. Then you have to take a step back. You have to be smart. That's all right. about longevity and, and training smart, which is very important too. You can't just go 100 miles an hour all the time, even though we'd like to do that. And there are some individuals that do that, but it have to, you have to train smarter sometimes. But um, it, it's a different type it's of thing. It's consistency, Tag, really. It is consistency. Yeah. Tag team yeah. wrestling for me, like we get, I get to share the workload with Cesaro. Sure. Uh, in an individual situation where being world champion before, yeah, there's a lot more. On, uh, there's a lot more on me. Does my body feel more beat up when I'm in, a, in an individual, uh, when I'm world champ or, you know, U.S. champ, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Absolutely, because my body takes more of a of a, of a beating. And tag teams, we we definitely share that load, which obviously adds a couple of years to your yeah, career. Yeah, you know? I hear you. And and also, just my last question is, what about when you go into like Hollywood? When you go into like Ninja Turtles and your 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 physique is appearing on screen? Is there anything different in a preparation for film? versus WWE? Well, because, uh, I mean, there is, I mean, like, there's a lot of, uh, I know for a fact, for a lot of movies, people, a lot of the uh, Hollywood actors um, uh, will basically go through a, a regime of cutting up and getting in great shape. Yeah. Um, like, Chris Hemsworth, I know, has a, has a crazy fitness regime that he goes through. Uh, you know, I've seen him hit the heavy bag and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. He's super agile. He's very aggressive, he's, but he like he's in great shape. I know Chris Pratt before for Guardians, the first one, got in great shape. Like this, I know these guys go through a situation where, depending on the role, uh, and especially going for an action movie role, that they they kill themselves. But I know people like you know, like The Rock, you know, who is always in shape, and, and that's the same thing for for us as well. When I did Rock Steady, um, when I played a part of Rock Steady in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. It was uh, I was bouncing from rest from my wrestling schedule to New York to shoot the movie and I'm back, straight back again. So there was times I wouldn't be home for like a couple of months. Wow. Um, but just like John Cena, who uh, just appeared on my channel as well. John Cena, who has gone to China, now he's gone over to Vancouver to shoot another movie. He's, he's endless and he's in the gym every single day. So my perspective is, if you have time to get a workout in, any sort of workout, what, I don't know about or what your schedule is, you always try and get in and get a workout in. Dig it, man. All right, no more excuses. Let's do this thing. As John Cena says, get in, get out, get better. Ooh. So, and I say, let's go do a bit. So we're gonna do uh, five minutes on the road, just get a good warm up, and uh, we'll do four minutes moderate pace, and then the last minute, sprint it. we'll sprint it. We'll warm go all out. Warm up. <laughs> Following your lead. Again, we're keeping a moderate pace. And go. <laughs> do is we're in some uh, Jeff Hardy crab crawls. So we need someone with a timer. We do two minutes. Two minutes of crab crawls. Just down and back till two minutes. All right. Warm up. Great warm up. Great warm up. Especially after the rower. All right. So let's do a little bit of stretch. We'll be doing some uh, back and box jumps. So what we'll do is we'll do the warrior lunge from Juju Mufu. 
This right here. Juju always says, Juju, I'm sorry. I said his name wrong pretty much every time in the workout video we did. At Juju Mufu. If you guys Juju. haven't seen that guy on Instagram. Juju Mufu. You gotta look at him. Awesome individual. Impressive. He said in case for a warrior lunge, in your stance, but in case they're going straight, he recommends just going out a little bit to the side and then just rock them back and forward. Keeping your back straight. This is what Elias from WWE does on his uh, recovery day, which is normally a Sunday before Raw. He'll do five by five, which a barbell with 135 pounds, he'll do five reps of deadlifts. He'll do straight into five reps of bent over rows. He'll do five power cleans. Then he'll do five overhead press. And then he'll do five squats. So I ribbed myself the first time we did this because he was gonna put, he said, oh, I just put 25s on, I put 45s on, trying to be a big man. And uh, yeah, I felt it for about three days after. And I'm gonna do it again. So, All right. cause I'm stubborn that way. So, face the camera. If you have heavy barbell and stuff, they'll probably want you in the gym to go ahead and do this sort of weight, weight lift on a, a platform. We're not really going heavy, and the floor in the squat rack is exactly the same as the floor here. But if you go really heavy or over 135, I definitely recommend using a platform or something that was designed for deadlifts, or they might kick you out of the gym. You don't want that. So you ready? That's what I'm here for, is get kicked out. <laughs> So you started with deadlifts? Yeah. Five deadlifts. Five deadlifts. It was a bad loss. Okay, so I dropped it like that. Yeah, I feel like the cleans and the shoulder press. We can drop the weight down. Are going to be so but, Here's my question: Is I can do the deadlifts, the squats. It's the cleans and the shoulder press that I think is where I'll get lost. Okay. So drop down all together. I think all together. Okay. Because you want to keep it. Yeah. Going all the way through. All right, let's start. With the Bloody do it. All right, so next set is uh, Daniel Bryan kettlebell presses. Uh, bench press kettlebell presses. It sounds really awkward when I say it like that, but basically it's a chest press with kettlebells instead of dumbbells. So, one, position one, position two. Right? <laughs> it's good. <How> <laughs> wow. 
also talk about like, you know, stepping outside your comfort zone. This is what it's all about doing exercises like this. Get your brain working as well. This is like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. <laughs> you slow it down even more. It's another race. To Brandon Rumba. Brandon Rumba is an Afghan uh, Marine veteran. I know. And um, he basically uh, lost both his legs uh, on an IED trying to save one of his fellow Marines. Um, but, like, such a positive outlook on life. He, uh, the first thing he did when he woke up in the hospital after, the, uh, after having both his legs blown off was the uh, doctor told him, as calm as can be, he was like, he goes, Does that mean you can make me taller? And the doctor was like, what? It's like Brandon before before the, before uh, he went to Afghanistan. He was technically he wasn't tall. He wasn't as tall as he'd like to be, but because he got he got these uh, new legs, he was able to make him as tall. So now he's six foot tall. But he never he never skips leg day. He had one leg uh, completely blown off, and the other one just above the knee, and he never skips leg day. So if he never skips leg day, you should never skip leg day. So just to uh, throw tribute to Brandon, I'm gonna we're gonna think we're gonna do some one legged. Uh, leg press that I did with Brandon when I went to the Celtic Warrior workout with him. All right. So let's find a leg press and let's just do it for Brandon. So uh, one legged leg press, just like Brandon Rumba does, uh, 15 reps on each side. We're not going a lot of weight. Okay, I'm dropping ego at the door. And uh, it just, these individual one legged leg press are a lot, a lot more difficult. You know, it's a lot more uh, stability involved. And God knows my hips aren't as stable as they should be. But I'm working on it. This will get you sweating. This will get you sweating. So when I wake up in the morning, um, especially in between loops, like we have anywhere between three and five hour drives, sometimes I have a, an early morning flight. The first thing I do is I do faster cardio. Um, I've dropped a lot away from that. I kind of bulked up to 275, now I'm around 242. And that was like, I, I tried to get, make myself get bigger, thinking that was gonna look better, and it didn't look better because it's holding a lot of body fat. So I switched everything around, and I started doing faster cardio. So that means you're not, does that mean you're not eating? You don't eat for about 12 hours, and when you wake up in the morning, you do cardio right away. And what it does is it, it burns your it burns your fat reserves because you've got no glycogen in your in your in your in your body. You know what I mean? You're you're depleted of food, so it'll use the fat reserves as energy. I'll do that, then I'll have breakfast, then I'll go back and I'll hit the gym for like maybe an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. Um, but the biggest thing for me over the last 10 years has changed my diet. Like you can go in here and you can kill yourself like we're doing for. Uh, like seven days a week for two hours, but if your diet is not uh, 
If your diet is not sufficient, if you're, if you're not having a healthy diet, if you're not eating the proper food, if you're eating a lot of junk food like fast food, uh, sugary foods, you're not really going to see any changes. So you're saying Chick Fil A sauce isn't going to Chick Fil A me, sauce. It's not I mean, cut me up. I mean, there's always time for Chick Fil A sauce. Maybe once a week. You know My what I mean? My man. <laughs> once a week. But uh, but no, I started taking. I started using a meal prep company. And a lot of the guys now, if you look at the shape that a lot the the girls and the guys are in in WWE, a lot of them are are, are, are on a, with a meal prep company. Okay. Um, I'm with Nutrition Solutions. That's the one I started with. That's the one that really changed for me. Like over the last couple of years, I've literally. It's, it's, I can't tell you how important good, healthy food is and portion control is. It's just a game changer. I mean, you don't even have to go, like even if you didn't go to the gym and you switched your diet out from eating like, like that type of junk food, fast food, and just ate healthy, like, like, uh, ch like grilled chicken with vegetables, like, you know, um, salmon, uh, steak, you know, like eat proper portion control, healthy food, like good quality food, yeah. the weight will just drop off you, even without working out. So you really are, you really have to have all aspects covered and that's, I feel now at 41, I'm in the best shape of my life. Well, I will be 41 yet, but I will be. I'm in the best shape of my life and I don't even see age as a number. I don't even care about age as age because I feel like I'm 10 years younger. And I take all my food on the road, I have a big Yeti bag, for me, and people can people live in a home. I don't understand sometimes how they like, like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do this. I don't have the time. I take my food on the road, and literally from like Cincinnati to Toledo, Ohio, to 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 Detroit, to L.A. Like, I always bring my food with me. And if you really are really want to, you know, make a, a serious change in how you look, diet is the way to go. It's 70, 80 percent of the process. Yeah. And um, once it's just that matter. It's all about habit forming. If you want to get into that habit of just eating healthy food. It, you just, I can't tell you how, you, the weight will just fall off. You'll just see so many differences, skin, hair, eyes, nails, like just, you just, so your, your, your energy levels, everything just, just falls into place. Okay. And what about, it's just a basic, uh, I guess, version of this, but are there like supplements you recommend? Like anything that's more important than anything else? Is it just focus on protein, anything like that? Uh, it's, protein's a great, uh, you know, if you can't get enough food in, obviously protein powder is, uh, is, a, is a great um, health supplement as well. Uh, there's, there's greens powder out there. I use First Form. They're they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, if they're too pricey, you can't afford that sort of stuff. You know, you can you can get it from food. Uh, protein powder wise, if you can't get enough meals in, it's a, it is a great supplement to take in. And you know, obviously, protein is the building blocks of life, so that helps repair muscle damage and muscle. You know, that you break down yeah. in a gym session. I dig it. All right, we have one more workout, right? Two got, more workouts. We got one more and a surprise. Okay. So we've done a multiple, uh, we've done multiple exercises with uh, WWE superstars and people inside WWE to show, give a sample of Celtic Warrior workouts and what it's about. Okay. So this one here is going to be Becky Lynch. It's the box jump burpees. She loves box jumps. I don't know why. She loves burpees, which I I hate. This is, this is the work. This this is the exercise that I literally despise. But that's why I'm going to do it because that's. the Philosophy of Brave Change. Challenge. Step outside your comfort zone and do things you don't like doing. here that we always have at the end it's a great finisher the great leveler as we say basically I'm gonna be hang me and Brandon are gonna be hanging out of the bar and we're gonna be doing uh, knee raises to work the core but while we're doing that as we're coming down Nelson here is gonna be punching us in the stomach which forces us to tense our stomach muscles <coughs> How many you want? <laughs> oh. ah. Holy 
So how can we find your your videos, your different workouts? How can everybody who's watching find that? Just go to YouTube and type in, go to search, and type in Celtic Warrior Workouts. If you have Instagram, I'm WWE Sheamus. You can check it, it's on my profile, it's on my profile page. If you go to Twitter, it's at the top of my profile page on Twitter, which is WWE Sheamus, at WWE Sheamus. And of course on my Facebook, which is WWE Sheamus. WWE Sheamus and Celtic Warrior Workouts is all you need to know. Come join me on my journey as I get to work out with so many unique individuals, so many superhuman humans, so many people who literally strive to be better every day and overcome so many different obstacles. It's an awesome journey for me and I'm, I'm along for the ride. I'm enjoying it. I want you to come with me and enjoy it too. So. I'm honored to be a part of today's journey, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Ooh, that was great. Everybody, thank you for watching. Nelson, man, thank you no for problem. being thank you. a little bit. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Great job, man. Thank Nelson, Seamus, I'm Brandon Davis. Guys, comicbook.com, thank you for watching and uh, maybe we'll do this again sometime. I always remember, brave change. And uh, let's go do finish and move into the pool. <laughs> One of the most important things to do after a great workout is cool down. So I've decided to help Brandon with this process.